Good afternoon and welcome to Chapman News. I'm Evan Narani. And I'm Megan Fent. Thanks for joining us today. The world record for youngest climber on Mount Everest will not be broken. Yorba Linda's Tyler Armstrong received an email on, on February 16th from the Chinese government denying him of his dream for a second time. Armstrong, who has already climbed five of the seven summits, requested for an exception to last year's denied permit at age 12. The now 13-year-old climber was hoping to make the 29,000-foot climb this spring so he could beat the record of the youngest climber by a few months. But the age restriction set in 2016 to improve safety exclude people younger than 18 and older than 75. The government said they may reconsider again when Tyler turns 16. And baseball season is just around the corner and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim are preparing for a big season. Reporter Matt Brown is live at Angel Stadium in Anaheim to tell us more. Well, that's a wrap on this year's Denim Day. If you want to get involved in more sexual assault awareness and prevention, be sure to check out Chapman Cares on Facebook and stay updated with all Chapman Care events. Reporting from Denim Day, I'm Megan Funt, Chapman News. I'm Megan Funt and I have been a Chapman cheerleader here at Chapman University for the past two years. We are so honored to have just been named a club sport. But in order to keep it accessible and affordable for everybody, we need your support. Donate today, even if it's as little as a dollar. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for your continued support. Chapman University commencement is right around the corner, and our soon-to-be graduates now have a world of experience and expertise under their belt. So, I took to the streets to ask some of our seniors if they had any advice for the undergraduate students here at Chapman. This week on When the Bubble Pops, we're going to be taking a step back and looking at some of the resources Chapman has to offer us before we graduate. I got some advice from the Career Development Center as well as a second semester senior, Nicole Renard, who took full advantage of her connections and resources here at Chapman. Thank you, Tori and Andrea. Well, the 59th annual Grammy Awards were this past weekend. The show was jam-packed with some surprising moments. From Adele restarting her George Michael tribute to Lady Gaga and Metallica's audio issues, and of course, Queen Bey's nine-minute set. Let's just say a lot happened. Chance the Rapper took home his first Grammy for Best New Artist without any help from a record label. It was the evening of Adele, though, who walked away with all five awards she was nominated for, including Record, Song, and Album of the Year. However, on her last and final win of the night, the singer of Hello said some major praise to her idol. As you can see, it took, um, it took an army to... Um... That's so cute, Adele. Well, Beyonce won two Grammys of her own, but left Jaws on the floor with her performance and this creative chair move. But you're caught up in your permanent emotions And all the love and I've been giving goes unnoticed It's just floating in the air Look at it, are you aware? A favorite moment of ours was Bruno Mars's epic tribute to the late Prince, showing off his guitar and fashion skills. He performed Prince's hit, Let's Go Crazy. And speaking of celebs, there is no question that love was in the air this Valentine's Day. And our favorite celebs were the ones to prove it, taking to social media to share their romantic moments. To start off with Valentine's Day relationship goals, stars like Liam Hemsworth, Kim Kardashian, and even Michelle Obama paid tribute to their loved ones with heartfelt Instagram posts. Other celebs showcased their darling families, Halle Berry, Neil Patrick Harris, and John Legend posted photos of their children dressed head to toe in Valentine's Day attire. And some celebs used the holiday to promote and share their love for their fans, friends, and even some nonprofits. John Stamos posted a picture for Valentine's Day campaign he did with PETA to promote animal adoption. And fitting enough for this Valentine's Day week, last night students watched a screening of Fifty Shades Darker. Reporter Sophia Cycli caught up with the director to talk about the film. Tougher Ordinance now also lengthens the time a party host and their guests can be cited for a second time. Translation, if you've already received your first warning, try and keep the party quiet until the next June 30th. Reporting live from Orange, I'm Megan Fun, Chapman News. Uh, thanks for being here, Megan. Yeah, thanks, Thank Mike. you for having me. So tell us, how did you start your YouTube channel? How did the idea come about? 
Well, uh, it's a long story, but YouTube came about when I was in middle school. And I remember being a little sixth grader and always wanting to do my makeup and my hair, and I didn't know what I was doing. So I always looked up videos on YouTube about makeup and hair and beauty videos. And then I just kind of fell in love with the concept of it, and I started doing it myself. As for fashion looks, everyone looked amazing this week. But let's go to my very own college campus to see what they thought of this year's red carpet looks. Okay, so as we know, Lady Gaga switches up her look all the time. What do you think about her Emmys 2015 look? I'm surprised at how modest and kind of simple it is, but I think it looks nice on her. She definitely looks like she's kind of just like a regular woman. So Cameron Dallas is one of the world's most famous viners. What do you think about his Streamy Awards look? I think that he has a very well-tailored suit and uh, he's looking pretty sharp. Cameron Dallas? He looks pretty good. He always looks pretty good. He's a definite cutie. Yeah, he looks very classy. I like the like, navy blue. Yes, I agree. I think he just looks really put together. He does. Super for dapper. Yeah. So what do you think of Cameron Dallas's look on the Streamy's red carpet? Uh, it's really shiny. Uh, I like the color. The undershirt's really cool. I'd probably wear that. Yeah, it is really cool. You don't usually see that undersuits. Yeah, he looks upset for some reason. Like, he doesn't he seem does. happy to be there. Yeah. What about Tyler Oakley? He looks a little more awkward to me. Um, I don't know if he's... I, I definitely think it fits his personality, but he is a little more awkward than Cameron Dallas. Definitely. Out of everyone who attended both the Emmys and the Streamies, who do you think wins best dressed? There are a lot of really good looks and some questionable ones, but there always are. <laughs> That's all for this week's recap. Check back on my channel for new videos every week. I'm Megan Fun, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. After an ongoing mumps outbreak, Chapman University now has a new student health problem. An undergraduate student has recently been infected with a bacterial meningitis, a strain not typically covered by the vaccine. Chapman students were required to have the vaccine before entering their first year. The university has been coordinating with the Orange County Health Agency regarding the matter, but says the risk to the general student population is low. However, as a precaution, Chapman was offering free doses of Cipro, an antibiotic used to treat bacterial infections. The university also recommends visiting your personal health care provider to receive the meningitis B vaccine. Ariana Grande and Big Sean didn't have a problem finding time to hang out this weekend, but it must have been hard due to her crazy schedule. We'll tell you all about it. I'm Megan Fun, and this is Ariana Grande. Megan and Evan, back to you in the studio. You're so cool in there. It's so hot right now. Thank you, Matt, live at Angel Stadium. Matt Brown and Trent, thank you as well. Yeah, thank you so much. We love baseball, Evan and I, and Absolutely. we also love when Trent comes to visit us. Yeah, Chapman is alum. Chapman is alum. Thanks for joining us on this beautiful Friday afternoon. I'm Evan Narani. And I'm Megan Fun, and we'll see you back here next week.